There's only one. Morgan and Morgan. Au contraire. I'm hearing two there. The best part of waking up is bulges in your cup. Get a little closer with every extra try. Well, I've got a lot of sponsors today. I like that. Something's <laughs> coming around the bend. I am here today with an amazing friend, entertainer, songwriter, and singer. I've gotten to know him quite well over the past couple of years, spinning his music on my radio show out of Columbia, Tennessee. We're here in beautiful downtown Columbia, Tennessee today, and you're going to get to know this artist better today, Sean Carson. Thank you for Hello, being here with me. Hello, Brenda Thank you for having me today. This is a beautiful, beautiful setting. This, this is awesome. This is the Welcome Center, Columbia Welcome Center. Do you feel welcome? Yes, I do. <laughs> and I, I feel quite centered. You seem to be preoccupied a little bit right now. Are you preoccupied? Well, that's, that's he said that's shot number two, right? Yeah, yeah. But what I want to know, if that's shot number two, why is that the first place we started? It's just the way life works sometimes, Sean. Things are opposite than what you would normally think is what it is. Yeah. (laughs) Hey, we need a shout out to JP Plant for all he's doing here. Great producer. And uh, thank you to Kelly Murphy and all the great people here at the Columbia Welcome Center because we're back here again. Sean Carson, you've got new music out. You've been playing like crazy all through Tennessee and doing some traveling down to Alabama and other places as well. So my goodness. Yeah. Uh, So and a huge thank you has to go out to a girl that works way harder than I do. Michelle Durham up in Nashville, Tennessee with Katina Talent. That's who I've been with for about a year now. And she certainly was a game changer because she uh, her and I actually are old friends and um, she really understands kind of where I fit and where I don't fit, you mm-hmm. know, things like that. So it's been great. Yeah. So hats off to her for really doing all the hard work. I just show up where she puts me in. Uh, and I'm so thankful for that. Her and Mother Kay, they're, they're great peeps. Yeah. And you seem to stay busy every weekend. I am very music. busy. Yeah. yeah. In fact, if you go over to, let's see, not the home, but the upcoming shows on this wonderful, wonderful website, right? Perfect there. website. Perfect. Perfect. Flawless. Mm-hmm. I would say flawless.com website <laughs> you go to upcoming shows and see where we're at you can't stop staring at your picture that's a that was a good day right there look at there look, i mean just just have a look <laughs> huh? people say is that tim mcgraw no 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 sean carson sean carson sean you yes. have settled here in the mule town capital of the world but you're originally from somewhere else tell me about that you've been here yes, i was born and raised in canada mm-hmm. in a town called port robinson and it's still, uh, still the best place that I, you know, I'm always from there. Everywhere I go, I'm always from Port Robinson. Oh my! I, oh, everywhere I go, I'm always from Port. Yeah, you got your next That's song. There one. you go. But no, and yes, I've been in Columbia uh, for six years. Like I said, I love it here. Absolutely love it here. The people are wonderful. The people are absolutely wonderful. Yeah. Um, you go into all these places, all kinds of places to eat, uh, all kinds of things to do. We're at the Welcome Center. If you want to know what to do in Columbia, come here. What's the address here? Columbia, Tennessee Welcome Center. <laughs> P.O. <laughs> Box, come on in. <laughs> we'll have to find that information yeah, out. But, uh, no, I love it here. Absolutely love it here. And one of the reasons I love it here is because it reminds me of the place that I grew up. Yeah. Uh, uh, the little town that I'm from, like you had so many sets of parents, and they, Columbia kind of reminds me of that. Like if, you know, people take you in, they they love you, they, they treat you great, and yeah, I love it here. I'm not, but originally from Canada, yes. Yeah, and you grew up in music. I did. My mom and dad had a band, and uh, so I had a great platform. You know, I've been able to do a lot of amazing things, and I. I don't think that I work near as hard as, as the people that helped put me there, um, whether it be my mom and dad or whether it be just uh, my sister was a huge support, still is. Um, uh, some great folks in Canada that played music before me, you know, they were like, you know, uh, play here, play there. Like, I ha- really had a lot of help. So, I mean, to sit here and think, oh, I did all this by myself, that's first of all no one can ever say that there's yeah. always support there's always help but uh yeah a big big hats out to my mom and dad they, the grant carson band yes i've heard their music that's right you, yeah you, that's exactly right yeah. uh we've played uh their stuff before that's right yeah that that was recorded in nashville oddly enough oh really yeah back okay. in like i think 1979 or something yeah. so you were going on the road when you were just a little kid yeah when i was 14 i dropped out of school now kids are we still on shot two here jp <laughs> All right, kids, don't try this at home. Get your education. No, uh, yeah, when I was 14, I had to get a, um, 
I had to get letters from different teachers that, that were a part of the school board. Mm-hmm. Uh, and what made it easier or, or more possible is the fact that I was going with my mom and dad. It wasn't like I was just, you know, going off to be with some band that, you know, might not have cared about my well-being. But it was my mom and dad, so that helped a lot. And I did that when I was 14. And here's the thing, too. Part of the agreement was, I can say this now, right, because uh-huh. I think I'm in the clear. Part of the agreement was is that we'll let you go on the road, but you got to do correspondence courses, like mm-hmm. still keep up with your education. That lasted for two months. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, did I fail? Oh, gee. <laughs> and JP's like, quit banging on the table. <laughs> But y'all toured all over. You went over to Europe, right? We did. We yeah. got, uh, that's another funny story too. We got international, uh, we got international band of the year, two years in a row. And one, the one of the times that we won this award, <laughs> it was pre- <laughs> it's presented to us in Scotland. And we played this pavilion where it was hot, 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 hot. I mean, we were up there ringing, wet, sweating, no AC. Everyone smoked back then, you know, so it was like, <laughs> but anyway. Did that make it hotter? The fire? I think it, made it, it looked hotter because okay, gotcha, there was smoke gotcha, in the building. Gotcha. So we're in, <laughs> back in the dressing room, and we're like, got most of our clothes off. We're getting ready to go to the shower. We hear the guy say, hold it, hold it. You know, Scottish, yeah, right? We don't yeah. know what he's saying. He's already half lit by the time he took the microphone. Hold it, hold it, hold it. And people are clapping, and they're clapping and clapping and clapping. And we're like, really got no shirts on and, you know, about down to nothing. And some guy comes back in. Hello, he said, I think you boys just won an award. You might want to go up and claim it. So we got to put our dread shirts back on. Thank you very much, you know. So, yeah, we, he was so Scottish, we couldn't understand what he was saying. And he was half lit, too. Yeah. <laughs> I've not heard that story before. Oh, it was you. a good one. So, and the trophy is huge. I mean, good Lord, it took about three of us to get it off the stage. I'm thinking about when times were tough in COVID, I thought yeah. about melting that puppy down. No, <laughs> You still got that trophy, Sean Carson? Yeah, I got I got one, and then uh, my mom's got the other one. Yep. Very good. So you grew up in music. When did you start writing? Because you're an incredible writer. Oh, thank you. Thank you for that, Brenda. I started writing, I think I've always wrote songs a little bit, but seriously, it wasn't until I moved to, to Nashville, Tennessee in 1994. And... So you and I have talked a lot in person, on air, off air. So I know you know a lot of the story, but for the folks that may not know, there was a guy by the name of Rick Tiger. Uh, He's since passed away, and I miss him every day, and I I talk about him a lot. But he's the one that actually, um, because I was, you know, I moved to try to get a record deal and all that other stuff. And he's like, you know, he said they're not going to take you seriously until you write songs. I'm like, man, I'm trying, but nothing comes out. And Rick had already had success as a songwriter with. uh, a uh, group called Western Fire and Gene Watts and different people. And he's like, well, he said, let's just write and see what happens. So the very first song I wrote, I'm going to sing. Can I sing? Yeah, this? sure. It was in 1994, and he he uh, put me to work in one of his nightclubs. And one night after work, I, I said, I want to write a song for moms. You know, no one, no one writes a song for moms. So let's do a little bit of this. Uh, yeah. But I couldn't find the words. To say what's on my heart Webster can't define What I'm looking for Always is too easy Love's too often hurt and if I live forever, I couldn't find the words. So that was the first song. I love it. Thank you. That was the first song that I wrote. It's so like serious professional song. Yeah. And I thought it was a hit. I sang it. I was singing it. I was like, that's really good. You know? but I, I mean, I still love the song. I still do it. I got here. Thank you. I think it's a hit. I don't think you I've heard what? that before, though. Uh, uh, Vern Gosling was interested in that song one time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was doing a Greatest Hits album. And it was something, he was going to have like 12 or 13 songs on it. And he wanted, he, well, I shouldn't say he wanted, but he there was talk about him. Uh, I sang it to him over the phone. You talk about being nervous. Yeah. Like, there's Vern Gosling on speakerphone, like one of the best voices ever. And I'm trying to sing this little song Rick and I wrote, but he actually liked it. It didn't didn't make the album, but uh, it was just a pat on my back that he was even interested. You know, my first song I ever wrote, like, wow. 
Oh, nothing to this. Oh, no, that's awesome. But you wrote a lot with Rick Tiger, right? I did, yeah. Most of the uh, most of the writing is done by myself, but most of my co-writes is with Rick Tiger, yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. In fact, we had a song go number two in Canada on the indie charts, which is huge for me because um, being from Canada it meant just so much more. But it was after Rick had passed away. Last year it, it did, was right? last year. It went to number two on the independent charts, yeah. Which, which, she's out of my hands? She's out of my yeah. hands, yeah. I'll yeah. sing a little bit of that. Why too, don't you do that? that? Absolutely. Just, yeah. We'll just do... Uh, and folks, if you want to know where some of this great music is, and I mean fine, fine, fine music, you go over to 123 Merch, and that's where you can find the CD. <laughs> I was out of my mind, she was out of this world. I'm all out of tears because of her. She fell out of love, she's out of reach, and I'm a lonely man. Cause she's out of my hands. Well, that was it. We just uh, decided Love to. Uh, <laughs> this is a short version. Yeah, short that version. That was like one of those commercials they used to run back in the 90s, I Love Music, and That's they, right. you'd just get like 20 seconds of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The best part of waking <laughs> up is gorgeous in your cup. But yeah, I gotta move this thing a little bit closer. All right, you do that. Get a little closer with every extra dry. Well, I've got a lot of sponsors today. I like that. (laughs) But yeah, so Rick Tiger was a huge help, not only in helping me uh, write songs, but. He also told me before I moved to Nashville, he said, when, he said whenever you decide to get off the road, mm-hmm. um, he said, you call me. And he said, I'll put you to work in one of my nightclubs. I'm thinking, whatever. I mean, everyone says that. So I decided I was, you know, time to get, quit touring and come to Nashville. And, and I called Rick and I said, hey, like, I'm thinking about coming off the road. He goes, I've got a spot. He said, you can play. Mm-hmm. I'm like, really? Like, you're serious about this? He said, oh, yeah, yeah. He said, you get here, you get settled, and we'll put you to work. And this, again, never happens. Are we still on camera? You're wherever okay. you want to be. Okay. But anyway, this never happens. Uh, <laughs> but I sat in Nashville for about a week and a half on my phone ring. It was Rick Tiger. He said, uh, this is back, when, well, they still might do it. I don't know. But three buses from Indiana showed up, like, just out of the blue at his club. And he's like, and I got no music. And I said, I'll be right there. And I went down there, and it was a place called the Truck Stop Hall of Fame. Mm-hmm. And I was there for nine months. From that moment on, every weekend, I was there for nine wow. months. Yeah, it was the best of such a learning thing. I met, That's where I was able to meet uh, so many people that I still have great professional relationships with today. Um, I've met, met there, you know, yeah. just coming into the club, yeah. Yeah, you mentioned being on the road. Was that when you were playing lead guitar for Neil McCoy? I was playing. They're good set. Oh, uh, you like that? You left Brenda. it open. You left it open. Did I really? You did. I kind of did, didn't Yeah, I? you did. We rehearsed. Yeah. yeah. I like this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so no, that's another great thing, too, about uh, my whole musical journey is just the fact that, um, you know, there's a bazillion guitar players in this world. And again, I was just that lucky guy that got picked to, to play with Neil McCoy. And and I, in fact, two different times in my life, I, I played guitar for Neil McCoy in the early 90s, and he was hotter than a firecracker. And I mean, he's still hot. I don't even know why I said that. He's still hotter than a firecracker. Uh, and then back in the mid-2000s, I went went back with him, and then that was my last touring gig. I was able to, in between, play with Tanya Tucker and Johnny Lee and Clay Walker, a bunch of different Opry members. And again, I'm not dropping names. I just feel... Oh, drop them. That's what this yeah, is no, for. No, I just I feel so... Come on, lay so, another one down. So <laughs> grateful. Oop. <laughs> Oop, a name. <laughs> no, I don't want anyone to ever yeah. take that the wrong way because no. I just feel so grateful. No, these are people that became your friends and you worked with. JP's laughing. Yeah. What's happening? Yeah. yeah. Did you knock something over? We're entertaining. That's JP, all it is. JP, did you knock something over? He's putting <laughs> stuff in his pocket, isn't he? Keep, keep well, talking. We need another camera yeah. so we can put we it do. on JP. On him, yeah. Yeah. Speaking of cameras, we've got Austin Tyler Jones right there. Thank you, Austin. There he is. <laughs> your social media friend. Yes. Speaking of which, you're very active on social media. I am. I really am. <laughs> you are. Yeah. TikTok. You're like blowing up TikTok, TikTok. Sean. TikTok. I'm going. Yeah. I'm all over that tang. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, oddly enough, my hugest, hugest, is that yeah. a word? Oh, listen to that. Columbia right there. I don't know if you can hear that, if you all can hear that, but oh, that that's right? our courthouse. They can't hear it? Clock, yeah. Can't. You know what? You know what? We do have some great sponsors, and we're going to hear from them right now. Let's do it right now. Let's, let's do that. Yeah. yeah. Y'all stick around more with this awesome artist when we come back, Sean Carson. Let the hood ain't no easier. The 
second time around Second time around I should be used to losing you Hey, hey, this is Brenda Lynn Allen, and I want to tell you about my friends at Accents and Antiques in downtown Columbia, Tennessee. I love to visit that amazing store. The vibe in there is great, and they always have new merchandise. They also have so many unique antiques to shop around at, so if you're going to go visit, make sure you give yourself some time to look at it, because there are two floors to explore. They have everything from comic books to new clothing to vintage clothing, unique antiques, and great home decor. They are located at 3738 Public Square. They're open Monday through Thursday from 10 to to five Friday and Saturday 10 to 6 and Sundays from noon to 4 o'clock accents and antiques in downtown Columbia Tennessee two floors to explore welcome back to around the bend with Brenda Lynn one-on-one with Sean Carson Welcome back to the show, everybody. We're here at the Columbia, Tennessee Welcome Center, and I am sitting here talking with Sean Carson. He's making me laugh, and he's entertaining me, just like he will if you go to one of his shows. I'm telling you, you have so much fun on stage. I love it, love it, love it. I think I'm having more fun now. Um, like right now? I wouldn't yeah. say right. Yeah. Like, yeah. but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we've done some radio stuff before. Yeah. Miss Brenda and I, where we've got laughing so hard, and T. Willie, yeah. another friend of ours, yeah. it's not like no one would ever hire us. <laughs> they would just, you know, I say that kiddingly. I mean, everyone should hire us because we're... Pretty- Life is supposed to be fun. And I think, uh, back to what you said, you're having more fun now, like doing your shows on stage and playing music. Yeah, because... You're playing it now more than ever, probably, right? I am right? playing, yes. In fact, if you go one, <laughs> two, the second, can they even see that, JP, up there? They'll be oh, able to they can now. You're good. You're good. But anyway, if you go to the upcoming <laughs> shows, again, uh, thanks to Katina Talent. She keeps me so, so busy. Glenn yeah. Cold uh, books my stuff down in Alabama. But yes, I'm doing about two, three gigs a weekend. Yeah. Loving it. Part of the reason I'm having more fun now than ever is because I'm not uh, I'm not playing for money. I'm not playing. I don't have uh, like major endorsements to where you can do this, can't do that, can't do this, can do this. Uh, and uh, certainly not trying to get a record deal. So it's it's kind of like whatever I want to do. Yeah. And there are places where like, yeah, you know, you know what? Then don't have me back. It's no big deal. But everyone has me back. They <laughs> do. They have him back. When he says not playing for money, pick it out when you say not playing for money, to be clear, you're not money driven when it comes to your not money driven. Oh yeah, saying. I ain't free, yeah. kids. Don't yeah, don't misinterpret <laughs> that business. <laughs> but you know what's so awesome? You stick around and you engage the audience on the stage, off the stage. Right. Yep. You can tell that you love it so much that you go there yeah. because of the love of life and the people. We were talking about my yeah. mom and dad earlier, and my dad was a wonderful entertainer, and he was a master showman. He was a master of the stage, and I learned so much from him. There was another guy by the name of Jerry Warren, who has long been gone. He was another Canadian. Uh, and I studied a lot of those when I was a kid. You know, mm-hmm. of course, I worked with my dad. So I got to, uh, for the longest time, I couldn't figure out wh- how is it that everything my dad does works. Mm-hmm. And he told me one day, he goes, most of the stuff I do doesn't work. He said, but I've just gotten quicker. This is my dad saying, he said, I've just gotten quicker at finding stuff that does work on a crowd that maybe something I was doing didn't work before. Mm-hmm. So he had a real quick pivot about himself right um and yeah there's times too where you know they i'll see a crowd situation where they they just want more singing maybe they're not really paying attention so i just sing i just sing and play some nights they want more songs i wrote sometimes you know it's just all different so fortunately for me i've been playing long enough that i've got quite a extensive bag full of tricks if you will i mean i won't say tricks because i'm I'm a pretty genuine guy but i mean stuff that uh, a bag full of stuff that that if this doesn't work i know this will yeah but uh, part of it too is my dad told me a long time ago he said you know when people leave their house to go somewhere he said they can listen to a radio at home yeah he said so make sure you're not a live radio they left their house to have a good time, to be entertained. Mm-hmm. Whether they're going to a movies or something, they're leaving the house, they want to have a good time, they're paying money, you better make sure that they go home and like, wow, that was worth whatever they spent, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, I've been able to learn a lot, and uh, people seem to like it. And I love it. I've met a lot of great people playing music, you know, such as yourself, JP, Austin. I mean, there's a whole bunch of people that 
because of music, I've been able to uh, keep in touch with, yeah. Yeah. Uh, speaking of music and yeah. good people, I want to mention Don Phillips. What a great artist that you introduced me to. And My best friend, yeah. I love his music and his wife, Sherry Lynn. The Beautiful Phillips. voice. Yeah. Yes, the Phillips music, yeah. In fact, yeah. we're doing, uh, we mentioned about doing uh, the poke home. Uh, he'll be with me on that. Oh, very yeah. good. Front porch. Very, very Buddies good. Buddies and biscuits. Awesome. And y'all have written together as well. We have. In fact, the title track of the CD is called Second Time Around, and it's a country, country song. Kids, if you like country music, uh, Second Time Around. You want to do a little bit of that? Well, absolutely. I want you to talk about this project. It's awesome. You've you've got physical copies of CDs now. I do. I sell them at shows. Yeah, you yeah. can buy them off my website or um, Facebook or anything like that. Yeah, they're available. But Don and I wrote the song actually quite a few years ago. Mm-hmm. And it was at a time when, because him and I are both huge traditional country music fans. We love Marty Robbins. We love George Jones, you know, Ray Price, the old timers. Yeah. And uh, when that and I'm not knocking new music at all. It's just, I don't think I do it very well, and it's just not for me. The people that are doing it do a great job of it. But there was that time where the stuff we were really liking was kind of really getting phased out. All this new stuff was coming in. And I said to Don one day, I said, we just we should just write it. It ain't going to matter. Anyone knows going to play it. You know, it was what we said back then. Let's just write a country song and just something that we like. So mm-hmm. we wrote one called Second Time Around. It's a true story about a gal that I was singing, I let her leave me twice. Yeah. She left once, I took her back, she left me again. I'm like, uh, ah, she got a practice run. And <laughs> do we get to hear the whole thing? What's that? We, do we get to hear the whole thing, the whole song? Uh, you know what? Let me... <laughs> Are you going to tune? Just, just one little, little string here. It's always the most exciting part of the show, but he cares. He cares. <laughs> uh, yeah, so. yeah, please share the whole song with us. Let's see. Cute, do I do it in? Yeah. Remember the last time I did this song? I didn't remember the words. And you didn't remember the words? Yeah. I'll try to feed them to you. <clears throat> there you go again. You're telling me goodbye. Once again, I find. That I'm not sure why We've been here before And there's one thing I found That the hurt ain't no easier The second time around Second time around I should be used to losing you Still I find I'm no stronger For what you put me through How can I go All the hurt ain't no easier The second time around Letting go for good Back with me to stay You were over him Oh, here we go. Here it is now. <laughs> and back with me to stay At least you remembered him that time. <laughs> this time you were sure You had your feet on the ground Yet I'm hurting all over The second time around The second time around I should be used to losing you Still I find I'm no stronger what you put me through 
How do I move on when I let you bring me down? Yeah, the hurt ain't no easier the second time around. And all the hurt ain't no easier. Second time around. Yay. Sean Carson, the title Ooh. track to yes, your newest project. New CD. Beautiful. You remember the words. You just mixed them up. That's all. Yeah, a little yeah. bit. Yeah. That's beautiful. Don That's... would shoot me, wouldn't no, he? No, no, just... not at all. How is it you remember words to like everyone else's songs except the ones you wrote? What's up with it that? It can happen like that sometimes. Yeah. I've done it. I've done it. And I laugh at myself when it happens, you know? I, know I really it. do. But tell me about uh, how many songs are on your new project second we got time five around? Five songs on there. Okay. And um, you know what? Let's do a sale on the CD today. Let's do it. Let's do it. $10 yeah. for that CD today. $10 today. Yep. Today. today only. All they got to yep. do is message you. Well, or just yeah. go to the website and yeah. buy it. Will you sign it for them? Yes, I will. Very good. Very In good. In fact, because they're normally 10 bucks, but today I'll let them go for $10. Yeah. <laughs> You're such a sweet person. Hey, so you've got She's Out of My Hands. We got a little bit of a sampling of that earlier. Second time around, the Second title track. Around, yeah. You've What else is on there? you got No Fault. That one. No Fault, No Blame. No Fault, No Blame. Great music. Your new song, My Life. I love that. My That's life. a beautiful yeah. song. That's, uh, we can do a little bit of that. You, want to you know, we, that, we have just a few minutes. If you want to uh, go ahead and play that for us, that'd be great. Is there anything you want to say to all your folks listening in today sean yes i do just thank you thank you thank you and i i couldn't mean that in a more sincere genuine way uh you know people come to the shows they spend the money they they go to my website they spend money i mean and and times are not the best right now for a lot of people so just their support alone and y'all don't have to spend a dime just saying hello to me means the same uh love y'all for it so thank you I got a tune this. I'm so sorry. Oh, well, that's okay. But this you want is a to set song. The song up? Well, I can a little bit. I know that you wrote this. This was inspired by your grandfather. It, can, can you hear over me tuning? I'm so it, sorry. Yeah, yeah, we're good. We're good. We got this. JP's a pro. He he knows. <laughs> uh, the other song on there. Let me go ahead and talk about that. You got. She's out of my. Which one am I leaving out? My kind of cool. That's my the other song. Cool, yeah. I play all his music. Love to play Sean Thank Carson so music much, on the radio man. show. And shout out to Teresa K for uh, introducing me to you and your music. A good mutual friend of ours as well she All did right. didn't she? yeah she did so my life yeah this is gonna go out to my grandfather uh, uh right before he passed away he had dementia you know we saw it coming on and then towards the end it got got pretty bad and um he was always a funny joking jovial kind of guy mm-hmm. and one day just randomly he just looked at me and he goes you know he said all the fun is just out of me and that was it. That's all he said to me. And I went back to watching TV. And I one night I was watching a Tom Selleck movie. <laughs> and this song just came to me. And I r- literally wrote it in about 12, 15 minutes. And... Light who I used to be. I don't like what I see This world is different, there's no doubt I'm still alive, but I feel left out And I feel the laughter of a child Underneath this broken smile when I see the sun shine again Stars dance upon my skin with age in my eyes And I hope that I know the rain Is here to wash away the pain And I'll feel like a child again and all the sadness will go away Till I wake up to another day Of my life Well I ain't saying it's been all that bad My heart ain't always been sad you grow lonely when you grow old 
Will I wake up? Will I go home? Will I see the sun shine again? The stars dance to pull my skin with age in my eyes. And I hope that I know the rain is here to wash away the pain I feel like a child again and all the sadness goes away till I wake up to another day of my life Will all the sadness go away till I wake up to another day of my life Thank you, Sean Carson. Thank you so much Thank for being you. here. Go see him at seancarsonmusic.net. Now, now look over at, at, at camera two and give a smile. Ding.